All right, it's morning. This morning, the chickens woke up to a new habitat. Um, they hadn't been here before. We moved them. I don't know, six o'clock this morning, probably. We moved over here. Um, so I'm, what I'm making now is a compost ring inside here. This this isn't a lawn. This is just over beside the woods. The noise in the background is the greenhouse exhaust fan, which is right directly beside us. So this is going to be a compost ring. I'm going to start feeding them in there. Um, I'm going to start feeding them in there, and all of our garden scraps and table scraps and all that stuff we're going to start feeding in here so they can break us down for us. Um, what's in there right now I have two wheelbarrow loads of wood chips from earlier this spring we got some two wheelbarrow loads of that and then I just just now went over to our compost pile and got some compost out that hadn't been rotten up. Right now I'm just going to dump we got about a half a bag probably not quite a half a bag of uh, wood chips left from when we brooded them so I'm just going to dump that in here Coming to check it out. So I'm going to spread that out a little bit and I'm going to go get another little barrel load of this from over at the compost pile to put in here. And that's probably going to be the end of it for now. Um, then I'm going to start feeding them in here. I'm going to feed them in here shortly. This isn't a lawn, so it, it is never it never was really a lawn. We keep the weeding and whatnot, but it's not, as you can see, nothing grows here. So, um, we're just going to make compost over here for, for the garden. So, they'll be here for, I'll keep them over here for a month or so. I'll just move the wagon back, the tractor back and forth, so the poop don't all build up in one, one area. But we'll start feeding them in there so they make compost out of it. Come on, chickies. So this is where the chickens was a few weeks or a month or so ago. It's been a while since he was here. There's a lot of this grass we got off some people a couple years ago and it don't break down. So I'm just taking it. This, that's where that grass came from. Looks like straw, but that's the grass. And right where they was, Look how lush and green that is. Not right there. We had them up right in there. Every place how long they ago was, was that? Every place they, probably a month ago, every place they was in New York, the grass came back way thicker. And way greener. And the weeds, weeds are less, there's less weeds in the yard. There's more grass now, too. Their fertilizer is awesome. Yes. He's getting a load. For now, that's probably going to be all I put in there. <clears throat> I probably won't get any more. I'll probably just put this in. Then I'll put their food in there so they know to get in there to eat if they want to eat. And then they can get in there and scratch around. They were scratching around the outside of the ring a minute ago. 
There's a lot of bugs and worms and whatnot, and not in this so much, but in that first layer of wood chips, there was a lot of bugs and worms in there. And down, I got that from down below where I got the from. I think all the chickies went to the shade and in their house. It's like 84 degrees out. They're gonna enjoy this uh, little workout area. I think they will. Hopefully they do anyway. Hopefully this stuff here breaks down. Yeah. Been over there for two years, at least maybe three. That's what I was thinking. We'll have to keep an eye. Keep an eye on a few days. I won't. I'll take that out and I'll just start throwing food down in there for we'll Put it in a bowl. We'll bring our table scraps out and that all at the same time. That'll work. Just dump it in there. In the mornings or evenings, we'll feed whichever. Probably mornings. Nice feeders that uh, Dale made for the chickies. They're starting to eat less and less of it because they're going after the bugs and yeah. other stuff, which is awesome. We have, we have way less bugs in the area up in this part of the yard than we ever have. Down below, we need to take some chickens down there one of these days. But... Here comes the chicky. It's pretty hot out, so they might yeah. not come out in the sun and explore too much. Some butternut squash, some other stuff that was in the freezer that wasn't good no more. Eggs. There you go. Good job. You figured it out. Good job. It won't take them long now. They'll all get in there. We'll shove each other out of the way now. Oh, they love that cantaloupe. Yeah, they do. They love cantaloupe. Oh, he's walking back down. I'm going to try it. Butternut? You want some butternut? Hmm? You don't have to get used to it, girls, because this is where you're going to get fed from now on. Inside that ring. I guess the rest of them will start to death. I guess. Only two out of 15 went in there. Of course, there ain't room for all of them in there, but. cauliflower. They're going to eat it all if you don't get up there. Some people think they're going to eat it all. There's a lot there. How do we get in? I've been around this place three times. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sad thing is, half the time they're up on top of the roof. They're, yeah. They fly up on the roof of their little building and they go and get inside that compost ring. That's funny. That is my shoe. My shoe is not food. They'll figure it out now, I'm sure, since M2 got in there. The rest of them just a matter of time. I'll shoot one more time, lady. Here comes another brave soul. <clears throat> So the next few days that'll get filled up. We're just gonna start bringing our table scraps and garden waste in here and start putting it in and start feeding them in here. Um, hopefully, hopefully in a week or so this ends up getting filled up and when it fills up I'm gonna take the ring off and then move move the ring somewhere else in this area and uh, put some more wood chips and stuff in it. So, I don't know how it's going to work. This, that straw that's in there is pretty, who knows. They may not be able to get down through it, I don't know. But they'll figure it out or they'll try Here to. She was eating, eating out of the elder food pan. Yeah, several of them was. That one right there loves your cantaloupe, though, no doubt about that. I'll start calling you cantaloupe. How do you like that? Yeah. Fine, I'll walk away. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so we'll see how it works out. Hopefully it works out. We get some good compost out here. I'll keep them in here for probably a month or so. I'll move their I'll move their uh chick cherry chick shell air back and forth a few times so that they don't crap all in the same spot. But and once they're done picking through that and they get all the good out of it. We'll uh, take it out of here and we'll set it up somewhere so it finishes. But they're a little more active now, so it's getting cooler in the evening. <laughs> 